Hello, this is Dina from the Marks Group, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to integrate your email into Zoho CRM using the IMAP option. Now, one of the benefits of integrating your email is that Zoho will then match any contact email address that appears in your emails and flow those emails into the contact records and you will also have the option of flowing those into the account and deal records as well. That way you'll have all your emails consolidated under the appropriate contact and you can just work from them directly in Zoho. The first thing you're going to do when you come into Zoho is go to the settings bar over here and when you click on that you're going to go to channels and emails and here is where you're going to get started in doing that integration. Under the emails you're going to choose the get started button and you'll see that Zoho already ha gives you some options for popular uh, emails including Zoho, Gmail, Yahoo and Office 365. If these aren't the options of emails that you're using don't worry you can always choose the other email option. In this case I'm going to choose Gmail and when you choose Gmail this is where you get the option of choosing the IMAP, POP or API. Today we're going to focus on IMAP and the benefit of IMAP is really right here in the first bullet where it says sync your emails across multiple devices and what this means is that if you were to open your phone and look at an email and decide you don't need it and delete it that email won't be appearing in the contact record here in Zoho and vice versa if you were to open an email in Zoho you will then be able to sync that and it will appear open in your other devices that you're using. That way you're not touching emails multiple times but once you touch it once whatever you've done with that email will show the same way in all of your devices. So in this case I'm going to uh, click on IMAP and then I'm going to get a little pop-up and I'm going to have to choose uh, my the email that I want and in this case it's Dina at marksgroup.net which I already have here and then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to click my password click next and in this case Zoho is asking me uh, Gmail is asking me to confirm which I'm doing right now and once I do that it's processed and I would approve Zoho to access my information once I do that, uh, because I'm using Gmail, you don't really see a lot of other information. But if you were to be using another type of email that's not one of those four, if you click on the server details, this is what will appear and you will need to enter in some of this information regarding the outmail, mail, incoming mail server name, the, secu the secure connection if you want it, the outgoing mail server name, again indicate if you're going to do a secure connection, and the authentication required. But once, and once you do that, then the next thing you're going to do is decide on the email sharing permissions. The email sharing permissions is important because it helps you decide how public you want your emails to be. If, you're, uh, if you only want your, you to see the emails related to your customers, you would choose the private. If you want, wanted everyone to see the emails because maybe you share your contact records, then you would choose the public. And if you want to decide on, an, on a regular basis whether you're sharing those emails or not, you can choose the custom record level, record level sharing. In this case, I'm going to choose the public. And Zoho is going to give me a warning just making sure that I'm aware that um, you're going to uh, be sharing with all users your organization account. So I'm going to click accept. You can exclude domains um, and this can be handy because if you have internal emails that you're sending to other people that may be a user in the system and you may not want them to be seen by everybody. For instance, maybe you have a finance person that you share some other confidential information with and you don't want other people to see it. You want to make sure that you're excluding um, certain domains or you can move to the custom sharing. In this case, I'm going to X out of this, choose the public record sharing and click on save. And then you can see by the red bar that Zoho is working and uh, is now setting up my emails based on the way that I set it up. You can see email sync is in progress. 
you will receive an email notification once the sync is complete. And if you ever wanted to make changes to the email, you can always update it here as well. Now, once you have your email synced, you can just go to a contact. And in this case, I am going to go to uh, someone in the Marks group. And here, once the emails are populated, they will show here where it says emails. And it, this will appear populated with, with account similar to this 10 plus that's here as well. I'm going to wait a little while to be able to show you exactly how this is done. Once the emails are done syncing, you can go to any contact record and you can see here under emails in the related list, the count of the emails will appear. You can either scroll down to emails or you can click on emails and come down and then all of the related emails for that user will, for that uh, contact will appear here and you can see that in some, you know, who it's owned by, it was the IMAP and you can see whether it was sent or received. And then you can send an email from here as well. And it will appear here as well. So as you can see, you can integrate your email and then within each contact record, you'll conveniently have the email showing here uh, for you to access those emails immediately and not have to worry about funneling through emails and cross-referencing different screens. If you have any additional questions related to integrating your email using IMAP or any other questions about using Zoho CRM, feel free to email us at the Marks Group at info at marksgroup.net and we'll be glad to work with you on any of your Zoho needs.